Well, President of the Bahamas Communications and Public Officers Union, Bernard Evans, says the protection of workers is continuously being eroded globally. And here at home, unions will have to be very diligent, engage the services of lawyers, and become more involved in political parties in order to push their agendas. While some may see unions getting involved in politics as a conflict of interest, the union leader believes that it's not. In fact, he says union involvement in politics has pretty much become a staple in progressive countries, highlighting Britain and South Africa, where Labour parties exist. Labour parties have been pretty much the bedrock of political parties. Pretty much, if all political parties talk about providing jobs and good jobs uh, and all that, well, you're talking about workers. So workers form themselves into organizations. Then, then, then the natural next step, then, is to be a part of or at least consider or be consulted in partnership with someone who then you put in office. But when you put them in office, you would hope that they would provide uh, the kind of protection that workers really need. Um, and then the, all the day comes when worker would get sick. There has to be protection and support for that. And then obviously all of us get old at some point and, and be, to the point we can't work any longer. Then what is the protection there for that? What is the safety net? Um, and so these kind of legislations and stuff need to be put in place. And the only way we see that right now, it has to be done by a political party. Now, Evan says if worker issues aren't on a political party agenda, their concerns are largely ignored. He says the only way to ensure those concerns are adhered to is for unions to become effective or part of politics. The BCPOU president says it may be easier and more effective to get involved with an established party to influence legislation. So if Labour has to um, ensure that the rights of workers are protected, that health care is, is put in there adequately and access, accessible and affordable, then workers then have to bind together and form themselves either to join with a party to ensure that their views and, and their protections are, uh, uh, are cemented in law, um, then Labour will continue to be marching around, um, even though they're assisting in putting that political party in, in the House or in, or in power, they will consider to be outside and marching downtown Bay Street, saying we shall overcome, we shall overcome, without any resolve. 